the Belarusian people are close, really close. We can't freely talk, not even like politic in all spheres. And uh, we um, definitely we uh, have to be silent. And here we need to be like opposite side. We have to talk. problems that simple people had in uh, to that time they stayed at uh, nowadays too and the world is changing very very fast and new to technology um, take first place uh, but these simple problems of a simple man of the simple human is uh, the, the state we don't have this solution of these social problems like poverty like hunger and so forth and so forth and so on and this is a problem this is the main point why we are here we are here to discuss um, what we could do about this we face each like dialogue with young people with asking them about uh, their vision of problems here and uh, worldwide also. And uh, it was so great opportunity in our country to collaborate uh, something like that in art, because mm, it's like different way of talking, but everyone could understand that. You learn from this experience how to deal maybe with anger, with um, some things which make you hate something and how to transform it in, like, in good feelings. After some time, after this project, uh, you can see things in another way and you don't have, like, we leave our comfort zones, I can say. It's uh, very interesting to 
understand how you grow up and how your knowledge is improved and how the art change us. So it's really amazing and interesting how it's happened. Uh, the format of these seminars because it differs from tasks we usually do at the university. We just have these seminars with um, we just read something on the internet and then tell it to the, uh, to the other students and that's it. Unfortunately, I would like to have seminars in more uh, interaction way, so to say, that students uh, began to think, start thinking about topics that are really important nowadays. can show other people uh, how we can study, that study has different faces. To have projects like that in collaboration in four countries, it's Ukraine, Belarus, uh, Germany and Russia, and um, it's like dialogue. Uh, this project, it's like a small example how the countries could speak with each other.